So, in Chai, you will step into the shoes of a tea merchant, combining tea flavors to make a perfect blend, specializing in other either, and I struggle with this word every time, rubos? Rebos. Rebos, all right. Green, oolong, black, or white tea. You'll buy and collect ingredients to fulfill customers' orders. All right, so what is it you guys are here looking at here in Chai? Well, we have a number of different boards. We have the tiles and the tile selection board. We have the bank up here. We also have the, uh, the pantry over here, which will be filled with tiles here shortly. Then we have the various customers that are available uh, for us to be able to fulfill, as well as special ability uh, cards here. We have the refill decks for the respective uh, cards, and then we have the, the, the temperature of our chai or, you know, the timer of the game. In addition to that, we have three customer cups, and then the customer cups also come with a tip each that hopefully uh, we have good tippers today, or at least those that tip the black player. Then we have our player boards here, which have a uh, supply to where you can store up to 12 different tiles as well as up to six different pantry tiles. Then each player has six leaves which are going to be important for fulfilling customers there. All right, and I should also point out that every player also has a player aid in front of them. So how does the game actually play? Well, the goal of the game is victory points, and we're going to be getting victory points by completing recipe fulfillment here or completing customers' orders. The number of victory points is going to be written in the cups, as you can see over there. And in addition to that, we're going to get points, $1 for every or one point for every dollar that we have left over, as well as for majority for fulfilling various customer seats there. And whoever has the most points wins. So how do you actually play the game? Well, the game takes place over five rounds. You can see by the temperature, the first round starts at zero, then 25, 50, all the way up to 100. So five rounds. Over the course of each of those rounds, we're going to be visiting the market the pantry or claiming customers to reserve as well as taking special abilities all in the name of victory points. On a player's turn they're going to be able to do one of these three main options and then optionally fulfill an order as well. So let's go over each of the available actions as they are in the game. So the first one is visiting the market. Now we're all going to start with some amount of money from the bank. It's going to be one or two dollars respectively depending on player order. Then whenever you choose to visit the market, you're going to immediately take three dollars, which are the larger coins here. Oh, one other thing I should point out that this is very much a prototype. Uh, apparently this is was on Kickstarter and uh, what is it that the, uh, the so late, late pledge? pledges will be ending tonight? Oh well, um, that's fortuitous it timing, is isn't it? Perfect timing. I would so. like to say it was planned that way, but it really wasn't. It was totally planned that way. I don't know what he's talking about. SteveDeGames.com. All right. So <laughs> as I said, so visiting the market over here. When you go and visit the market, you're going to receive three dollars from the bank, and then up to the total amount of money that you have in your possession, you may purchase tiles. Now the tile purchasing mechanism is really quite ingenious. It's, it reminds uh, you of like a bubble pop or yes. similar type games you would mention, right? Exactly. So you'll notice that there is a $1 column and then two $2 columns and then three $3 columns. When you purchase from the market, you're going to pay the price for the tiles of a group of tiles based on the most expensive tile that you choose. So Martin, being closer to this, is going to help me out here. Let's say I were to choose, say, the group of mint tiles over here in the top corner. I would pay a total of $2 because it is in the $2 column, and then I would, I would actually acquire all three of those tiles from that group. Then after choosing, all those slide over like so, and then I can continue to purchase up until I run out of money or I choose not to select any more tiles. 
All right, so if I wanted, then maybe I choose this fruit tile, like so, those slide over for a dollar, and then maybe I choose these two or these two lemons for another dollar, that would be a total of four dollars. And at that point, maybe I choose to stop. Once you choose to stop, at that point, we are then going to refill the market top to bottom, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and then that is visiting the market. Any questions on that action? No. All right. The second option is we're going to actually start with one of each of the pantry tiles in the marketplace. And when you go here, you may, if you wish, optionally pay $1 to discard everything that is here back into the bag and then randomly draw uh, and refill the five tiles. And then you may choose any three that you wish from the face up or mystery meat, i.e. from the bag there. So you can randomly draw any mix from the pantry board or from the pantry bag itself. So three tiles total. And much like the marketplace here, you are allowed up to whatever you have here. If you purchase or select more, then you will have to choose the discard down at that point. So that's the pantry, easy enough. Any questions on that action? No. Nope. The third action is reserving one customer and using one ability. Now, when the game starts, we're actually all going to start with a customer of our own color. So Jess will start with one of the green customers, I will start with one of the black customers, and Martin will start with one of the white customers. And you can see that by the outline at the bottom of each of the customers, as well as inside the cup. And they have a little tea leaf in that player color as well. So you're allowed to reserve or have reserved a total of three customers. As you get them, and let's say I have this black one, that'd be a good one to start with, let's say. If I have that, I'm going to have them stashed over here. Only I can complete customers that are that I have reserved. Now I can reserve customers in other player cus in other player colors, but once they are here, only I can complete them. When they are out here, any of us can complete them. So on your turn, you may choose one of these to reserve, so maybe say I choose to reserve this customer here, we will then immediately refill that customer like so, and then optionally I may choose to do one of the three special ability actions that are out here on the board. Any questions on that? No. And then finally, you may, you may fulfill one customer total on a given turn. So let's say I had a couple of, boy, I have chosen really poorly for an example. Grab me two lavender tiles, there we go. Let's say I had a couple of lavender, lavender tiles over here, and maybe I had, say, a couple of bucks left over as well. On my turn, I take my actions, I do one of those three actions, then I say, I'm going to complete this customer here. I then take those two tiles, everything that is shown on there, then I do have to purchase one of the tea leaves from the player whose customer that belongs to. So I would pay Jess one dollar mm -hmm. for a tea. There you go. Then we're going to take that. Then I choose one of the three customers here in their cups, and let's say I choose like that. Then I'm going to flip over. Don't Okay, we can, go ahead. Flip okay. that over that customer tip. I will get two bucks from the bank. And then I will tuck that under to show that I have completed that customer like so. Mm -hmm. All right. The round ends when one of us has completed the final or received the final tip that is available and you must complete a cost in awaiting customer's mm -hmm. cup. Yes. All right. At the end of the game, or I should say at the end of a round when all three customers have been completed, we're going to shuffle up all the tips. We're going to then remove the left edge or uh, tiles. So all the $1 tiles, we will then slide and refill. And then we, whoever is next in turn order will then select one, the top action to replace one of the available actions here. And from there, we will do that five times in which we will go into final scoring. Final scoring is going to be our points here as shown. 
any money that we have left over. In addition to that, we will have majorities for whoever has the most tea leaves in a given uh, customer cup. Uh, they will score two points each. Whoever has the most points wins. And yes. that, folks, is how you play Chai. Any questions? Good. Moving on. Here we go.